we are looking farther back in time than we could before, and we are really thrilled with this picture. Uh, we have been working on the story of how the galaxies grew. Uh, I told you we were going to see the first ones growing, and we saw some, and they were a big surprise. They were bigger, brighter, hotter than we expected. And some people said, well, then our sto whole story of the expanding universe might be wrong. And I think more likely our story of how the stars grow is wrong. The theory of Big Bang nucleosynthesis predicts the observed abundance of the chemical elements. If there are more baryons, there should also be more helium, lithium, and heavier elements synthesized during the Big Bang. Michio Kaku was absolutely right when he said the discoveries of the James Webb Space Telescope will challenge our understanding of the beginning of the universe. We may have to revise our theory of the creation of the universe. And later in this video, he will reveal some terrifying information. So keep an eye on it. In today's video, we'll discuss how the James Webb Space Telescope has just discovered the five oldest galaxies in the known universe, how fast they are growing, where were they hiding before, and what else we expect to find in the next five to ten years. Let's find out together. December 25th, 2021, the moment that will remain in space history forever. On that day, at exactly 2.20 p.m. Eastern European time, the $10 billion space telescope, yes, billion, took off on its way to the second Lagrange point, L2. But what is a Lagrange? Those empty spaces, called Lagrange points, are positions in space where the gravitational forces of two large objects, in our case the Earth and the Sun, create a stabilization zone where all the objects within remain in a stable position. Just so you know, this exact zone is located at 1.5 million kilometers from Earth, or 932,000 miles. Keep that in mind next time you critique NASA. Fast forward to the third year since the James Webb Space Telescope set off on its universal exploration, it's been quite a journey of cosmic revelations. The Webb Telescope is challenging our assumptions about the universe, and recent weeks have been particularly interesting as the telescope has been uncovering unexpected wonders present in the universe. The Webb Telescope has recently found the five most distant, oldest, and strangest galaxies, sparking discussions among astronomers. These galaxies are a bit rebellious, not quite fitting into the theoretical models scientists typically use to understand the universe. Astronomers have already started studying these five galaxies, situated an incredible 13 billion light years away from our home. These are not just a glance into the past, but a deeper look at what galaxies resembled, only 300 to 500 million years after the well known Big Bang. Remember, almost 14 billion years have passed by since then. Almost terrifying to think of. Ugh. But all the evidence we have till now is too little to be jumping to conclusions. Are these galaxies really galaxies or just a gravitational appearance? Let's take a look at what the well-known scientist Michio Kaku has to say about it. I personally think that we're actually looking at monster black holes where perhaps new laws of physics are emerging. Black holes may be involved because they are among the most luminous objects in the universe when they are consuming cosmic stuff, which glows as it is drawn in. According to him and other scientists, these galaxies might be monstrous giant holes, but that's just one out of hundreds of other speculations. One of the galaxies the James Webb Space Telescope recently discovered is Sears 2112, a galaxy that looks like our Milky Way and is over 11.7 billion years old. That's right, it dates back to when the universe was just a baby, about 15% of its current age. The discovery of Sears 2112 was announced in November 2023 by a team of astronomers led by Dr. Luca Costantin, a Spanish National Research Council postdoctoral researcher at the Centro de Astrobiología in Spain. They used the James Webb to observe a patch of sky called the Cosmic Evolution Early Release Science Survey, or Sears, which is part of a larger program to study the first stars and galaxies in the universe. 
Now, this isn't your ordinary galaxy. It's a bit of a cosmic standout. A barred spiral galaxy featuring a central bar of stars with spiral arms extending from it. This is a bit unexpected because early universe galaxies were typically thought to be a bit of a puzzle. Chaotic, irregular, and lacking clear features. But Sears 2112 is making us reconsider how galaxies came into existence. According to the experts, there are now 300 million years of unexplored history of the universe between these galaxies and the Big Bang. And they are right. Let's look at the other two galaxies astronomers stumbled upon recently, hanging way, way off at 13.4 billion and 13.42 billion light years away. These galaxies are making headlines as some of the most distant ones ever spotted. But wait, there's a twist. Before this discovery was made, in this far off universe spanning 13.4 to 13.5 billion light years, we only had three confirmed galaxies. Now, the number of confirmed galaxies has surpassed any prior theoretical predictions made before the launch of the James Webb Space Telescope, indicating an active star formation within a short period in the early universe. The four standard theoretical models consider different values of dark matter content in the universe to achieve computer-generated simulations of galaxy formation. But recently discovered galaxies have proven all four models wrong. The research team led by Professor Yuichi Harikane, assistant professor of the Institute for Cosmic Ray Research in Tokyo, is at the forefront of these latest discoveries. The team has measured these galaxies with the Webb Telescope for the first time, marking a significant cosmic milestone. The Webb Telescope has uncovered many galaxies from 13.4 to 13.6 billion years old, turning space exploration into a fascinating treasure hunt. But here's the catch. Figuring out exactly how far these galaxies are requires some space detective work with spectroscopic observations, and there's much room for mistakes. For instance, a galaxy called Sears 93316, initially thought to be a galaxy from 13.6 billion years ago, turned out to be a galaxy from 12.6 billion years ago after closer inspection. Professor Yuichi Harikane said, Before the launch of the James Webb Space Telescope, large telescopes like the Subaru and Hubble were used to study distant galaxies and their results were well explained by various theoretical models. However, the discovery of these five galaxies in the most distant universe by the James Webb Space Telescope was unexpected in any of those theoretical models. That being said, our astronomers now need fresh ideas to crack the complexities of how galaxies have evolved through the years. But before you leave, Let's look at another galaxy from the early universe that the Webb Telescope has discovered. It's a blurry, dust-obscured galaxy situated so far from Earth that it's been hidden from the eyes of telescopes all these years. This captivating image, thanks to the powerful James Webb Space Telescope, spotlights galaxy AZTEC C71. What's truly shocking is that we're witnessing AZTECC71 as it appeared just 900 million years after the Big Bang, a time when the universe was sparking to life with its very first stars, ages before our own solar system emerged. If you still can't gauge how much of a big deal this discovery is, think about what study author Jed McKinney of the University of Texas at Austin said. The fact that even something that extreme is barely visible in the most sensitive image from our newest telescope is so exciting since that potentially means there's a whole population of galaxies that have been hiding from us. Now, let's talk universe history. Scientists are saying this discovery could spill the beans on the early universe, suggesting it was way dustier than we previously thought. It's like a sneak peek into the inception of the universe, revealing more about how it evolved since the grand explosion of the Big Bang, roughly 13.8 billion years ago. AZTECC71 was first seen as a confusing blob of light by the James Clark Maxwell Telescope in Hawaii. Later, the ALMA Radio Telescope in Chile gave it a nod, but it seemed to disappear in front of the Hubble Space Telescope. This galaxy is one of the most distant and mysterious galaxies ever found. 
and it holds important clues about the evolution of the universe. Some space scientists are calling AZT CC71 a real monster. It might look like a tiny blob, but don't be fooled. It's creating hundreds of new stars every single year. The results of the photometry showed that this galaxy is massive and luminous. With a mass of about 50 billion times the mass of the Sun, and a luminosity of about 500 trillion times the luminosity of the Sun. These numbers are comparable to some of the most extreme dust-obscured galaxies in the universe. McKinney and his crew are trying to map the universe's earliest structures. It's like trying to find a needle in a chunk of the sky the size of three full moons. However, they have the James Webb Space Telescope JWST, armed with powerful infrared eyes that can cut through the thick dust clouds in the early universe. Before the JWST, these galaxies were impossible to spot. The light from newborn stars tucked away in dust-covered galaxies played hide-and-seek in optical wavelengths, but the JWST, with its infrared abilities, can pick up those signals that were once lost in the cosmic dust. One in five such galaxies remains invisible to us, forming a group of what astronomers call Hubble Dog Galaxies. That means our understanding of the history of galaxy evolution is biased, because we are only seeing the unobscured, less dusty galaxies. So what did galaxies look like in the early universe? Astronomers have been thinking that the galaxies born right after the Big Bang, roughly 13.7 billion years ago, were too delicate to support any structure like spiral arms, bars, or rings. Those flashy galactic accessories were believed to show up at least 6 billion years after the Big Bang. According to the latest study, these seemingly fragile galactic structures could have been born as early as 3.7 billion years after the Big Bang, pretty much at the dawn of the universe. Christopher Consolais, the astronomy guru from the University of Manchester in the UK, dropped a bomb, saying, based on our results, astronomers must rethink our understanding of the formation of the first galaxies and how galaxy evolution occurred over the past 10 billion years. Now, brace yourselves for this twist. These early galaxies, according to the latest scoop, weren't throwing heavy elements around as much as we thought. But here's the cosmic head-scratcher. We're still in the dark about how a galaxy's chemical mix relates to its journey into a well-defined structure. We didn't discover the billions of galaxies sparkling over the universe until the mid-1990s, when a space telescope named for Hubble peered farther into the universe than ever before. The Hubble Space Telescope (HST) has been the star of the show in the cosmic arena, but it had its limits. The HST hinted at early galaxies having little to no shapes during their galactic mergers. But guess what? The JWST, with its laser-sharp resolution, is studying even deeper into the universe. It turns out that those seemingly chaotic early galaxies had well-defined structures, just like us, the Milky Way. The new findings are no small accomplishment. We're talking about a whopping 3,956 galaxies under the JWST's microscope. According to astronomers, that's the biggest cosmic sample ever studied with JWST data. Results showed that relatively well-defined structures in the universe form a lot quicker than previously thought, following what is known as the Hubble sequence, which is the standard classification of galaxies by their visual properties as ellipticals, lenticulars, and spirals. This latest scoop suggests we need fresh ideas to wrap our minds around how galaxies have been structuring their stuff over the past 10 billion years. What other cosmic surprises are waiting for us out there in the universe? Make sure to stick around by clicking the subscribe button since there is more interesting stuff to come. Like the video so many people can learn this information and let's enjoy this journey together. See you in the next